Tiga. Okay, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. My name is Dr. Mawad Faisal bin Mahmud. Today, I would like to present about the reflection of centilabel B. Okay, basically in this experiment, we want to identify the relationship between the load and also the reflection of the centilabel beam. Okay, in this uh, apparatus, we have uh, three types of beam, which is from uh, aluminium, this one, uh, this one from copper, and also this one is from steel, okay, iron, steel iron. So the the dimension is same, which is eight times twenty five uh, mm. And uh, in this experiment, the maximum span that we uh, Perform is 600 mm is from this one, the end, and up to this one. So the the the, the length is 600 mm. Okay, and then basically we provide you the figure 1.3 show how to perform the this experiment, where to put the the load, where to put the the dial gauge. Okay, so in this uh, experiment we put. This one in the middle of uh, length, okay, which is uh, 600, so 300 here. But before that, we have to make sure that everything is level okay, by using this water level. The setup is within this one. We make sure that the setup is level. Okay, like this one. So we can see the water. Uh, the, the the water level show that this setup is level. Okay, and then after this, Let's show you the, the the basic one first, and then this dial gauge should be located one foot over the uh, span length, which is one hundred and fifty mm from the end of this span. Okay, so measure here. So here is one hundred and fifty mm. So the dial gauge should be located here, and another one is. This target should be put at the end of this uh, span. Okay, so everything is like this one. So we double confirm using this. Okay, still level. If not, then we have to adjust some, uh, some more. Then you can see here. Okay, we have to. Identify. We have to add uh, some load from five newton up to thirty newton. Uh, okay. And this experiment, you have to uh, take the measurement for the uh, deflection, which is F here. This uh, this value, and also you have to record based on the supporting force, which is here, W. But please bear in mind that. This number, this value, you have to multiply by two, okay? Which is located here also, okay? Uh, three, one mm is equal to uh, two newton, so you have to multiply by two. So any uh, value that recorded in this dial gauge have to multiply by two before you record down in this uh, table, okay? Let's say like this one, you have to put. Zero. Okay, everything is zero like this one. Okay, so okay, okay like this one, and then you have to put okay five newton. Okay, five newton. Okay, put five newton here, and then you have to record down this. Uh, value uh, zero uh, zero uh, neglect the the minus so you just record zero point four nine mm in here okay increase 
and then you add up uh, for 10 15 20 25 and 30 you record down all everything in F but before you add some uh, you increase the, the load you have to record down this one so in this case is 0 0.33 Okay, multiply by 2 is 0 0.66. So you have to record down here is 0 0.66. Okay, and then before you increase okay, the, the weight here, you have to make sure that this one is uh, 0. Okay, by manually adjust. 0 like this one. And then you add another uh, weight for 10 newton and then you record down here you multiply by 2 then record and then you again you adjust this one to be 0 and then you add another one ok so this is repeating process until uh, 30 newton and then after that okay, let's say uh, we already put okay, let's, okay, let's say 30 here okay, you let down everything and then you want to decrease okay so basically for the increase and decrease at 30 newton is same lah. okay let's say this one is uh, 4.07 so you, uh, you wrote down here 4.07 and this one is same 4.07 and this one let's say 4.83 so multiply by 2 let's say you got uh, around 9.6 uh, mm here and this one is also same but when you want to decrease to record down another measurement you have to uh, decrease first this one and then you have to oh sorry okay turn to zero oh, oh. okay and then you take the measurement okay you record down the measurement for 25 okay then you want to uh, decrease this one you decrease and then you set to uh, zero then you record down for the 20 newton so this uh, repeating process uh, is applicable for aluminium, for copper and also for the uh, steel okay. so after you finish everything here you have to perform some of calculation and also observation and also the, the graph so all these things you can go through the uh, lab sheet and I will guide you after this session for uh, how to get the, the, the good job and so on after this okay thank you very much